Oh my gosh, what is this stuff in my garden? What am I going to do? Hi guys, this is Gail with Gail Southern Living. Today we're going to talk about dog vomit slime mode, which is also called Fluigo Spectica. And it is nicknamed dog vomit slime mode because it looks like dog vomit on the floor. To me it looks like a cauliflower. It looks like cauliflower. So it is a uh, fungus that spreads. I've never left it in the garden. This is my second year to have it. I've never left it in the garden before, um, but I am going to move this to an area where I can watch it. I would like to see, you know, the different stages of it. Is it harmful to your pets or plants? It is not harmful to your pets or to humans. Um, I would not leave it on your plants. That's just me personally. Um, it was in a back area too. There's two areas where uh, it was, and I've already removed it off of that area. It was on like a pumpkin gourd type plant. And so I just removed those particular leaves and threw it out into a part of the yard where I'm not growing a garden. Uh, some people say it's harmless and some people say it's not. I think you should probably uh, remove it just to, you know, make sure it doesn't mess with your plants. Not to mention, I don't want to eat mold on my food. Um, how do you remove it? Um, I would say remove it with a spoon or a scoop. And put it in an area of the yard where you're not going to plant, but not in your compost pile. Now this is right there on the cardboard. So I'm just going to remove the cardboard and put it into a different area. And I'm going to let it grow and I'm going to watch it just for fun. Um, let's see. Um, I wrote down a few things I wanted to say. Why do you get the dog vomit slime mold? Um, you get it because there's a lot of moisture in that area. And it's usually in areas where there's mulch. One year I had it in pine mulch. Uh, and of course, cardboard was once wood. So it's where you have decomposing wood and materials and uh, where it's accumulated a lot of moisture. Uh, it will spread and grow. Do people eat it? Yes, in Mexico they do eat it just like scrambled eggs. I would not suggest it. Um, but yes, I, I did read that they do they do eat it. So it moves during the night and spreads over your garden. Um, like I said, I'm going to remove this and put it in a different area of the garden. I may do a follow-up video and show you what it looks like at the different stages. But I'm going to make sure I get all of this out of here because I really don't want it climbing on my pumpkins and gourds and and all that stuff I have growing out here. So this is a wild area of the garden. That's why there's, you know, grass and stuff around it. Uh, but there's a lot of plants, a lot of plants around here. Some big, huge sunflowers right over it. And some little squash plants right next to it. So it's got, it's got plant, plants growing all over. So I just wanted to bring this to you today. If you have any more questions, please put them in the comment section. Let me know if you think this is interesting. Please hit the like button if you uh, consider this useful information. And you guys have a great day. Happy growing. Bye, everybody.